And joining us in the studio is Dr. Dorothy Balaba of the Program for Accessible Health Communication and Education, or PACE. PACE is an affiliate of Population Service International, a leading global health organization with programs targeting malaria, child survival, HIV, reproductive health, and non-communicable diseases. Dr. Balaba, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Very interesting report we saw earlier with regards to HIV AIDS. Now, tell us how things are looking uh, and looking with regards to the fight against HIV AIDS in your country, Uganda. Well, our country continues to fight against HIV AIDS, and I know we've made significant progress in HIV AIDS. We've, we, we've gotten support from partners, uh, donors, government, and we're seeing to treat um, our clients in HIV AIDS, and it's very significant. So it's um, promising. Indeed. Yeah, it's, it's very promising and I know we are now looking at a more integrated approach to management of HIV AIDS. We are, we, we are looking at our population as, as uh, you know, HIV AIDS, but not only HIV AIDS, but the whole comprehensive sexual and reproductive life of the men, children and, and women. And uh, speaking of women's health, uh, family planning is uh, something that you really focus on uh, as well as maternal health. Tell us about what your organization PACE is doing in Uganda. Well, PACE is doing very interesting work in Uganda. You know, Uganda has a, a very high population and a very high population growth. And we have lots of uh, unmet need. Uh, unmet need is up to 42% of family planning. And yet this is a very essential and key technology to improving the, the health of women. Where we have many women dying, we have a high maternal mortality rate. And what PACE is doing is actually reaching out to those women of reproductive health and giving them access to high quality family planning services. Now, one of the things is when we hear uh, family planning, a lot of time people tend to think uh, reduction in, uh, in, you know, fertility reduction, but there is more to that. Tell us about that. Well, family planning is, uh, uh, is access to, to, you know, planning your life. That means when to start giving birth. Uh, planning the space between the, the number of children and when you stop. So we are promoting family planning more in, in terms of quality of life. We're we looking at the quality of life of the woman and we're looking at the quality of life of the, ch of the children. So we want children to live a healthy life. So, so this really looks at um, planning not too close and not too soon. So we are promoting it mainly for spacing. And so we, we, we are really uh, looking at our country and seeing that, yes, there are different efforts with the government and with several partners, but there's one area that we are tapping into, that is the private sector. Our DHS uh, showed that over 50 percent of the women in Uganda actually access family planning from the private sector. And yet when we went out to look at the private sector, we found that the private sector was actually mainly providing short-term methods and yet long-term methods are, are more convenient for the women and they're they are, they are also uh, more cost effective for our country so what PACE is doing is providing the whole range of comprehensive family planning services so what we're doing we're training private health sectors those small little clinics that are out there in the in the in the rural areas building the capacity of uh, providers to actually offer long term family planning methods and this has created a difference where we are working and uh, we're running out of time, but the rural areas are definitely one of your focuses. Yes, our, the rural areas are definitely our primary focus because we know that even though there is uh, unmet need, the unmet need is higher in the rural areas. Absolutely. So we are reaching out to those women with high quality family planning um, methods, including the long term family planning methods. Dr. Balaba, thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, that was Dr. Balaba of the Program for Accessible Health, Communication and Education.